This is a story about a cat. One day, my cat pleaded and my cat cried for me to open up the door and let her go outside. Then she sat on the lawn underneath a tree, pretending that she could not hear me. As I said, cat, you better come home. I have to tell the truth and admit that I wrote a book for children because uh, there are fewer words in a children's book. And also because parents have been uh, oppressed by, by years of children's books uh, um, about little furry forest creatures. This is a story I think it would be fun for uh, parents to perform. The message of the book is very simple. It's the message of the story of the prodigal son. The cat is me. The narrator is the parent of the cat. But the cat goes away and becomes a cat in Europe, runs around and spends its money and sinks in a boat and returns home to America impoverished and penitent. She said, I'd rather be a cat that meets a terrible fate than live with a man who don't appreciate that a cat is independent and a true highbrow and demands a little high-class chow. I've seen the food that you feed your guests, the turkey and the tuna and the chicken breasts. Do you share them with your cat? No, you don't, no way, not the poached, perched liver pate. And I said, cat, you better come home. I mean, I think it's a very good book. I think it's good for all age groups, really. The rhythm is very good, and the illustrations are very detailed, and they're um, very good to look at. I think it's got to be read rather than you to read it yourself. Yeah. It's mm. got to be read aloud so as you can hear the rhythm and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I never, she said, and she turned in a huff. You've seen the last of your old cat puff. She left with a huh. She left with a hm. And a sardonic laugh. <laughs> and she left for a year and a half. I felt so bad, full of guilt and shame. I walked around town just calling her name with a great big plate of Chateaubriand and some tuna fish in my hand, and I said, Cat, please come home. Oh, Cat, I wish you'd come home. Now, we liked that book, Oh, Cat, You Better Come Home, didn't we? Because it was good for the parents to read to the children. Very funny. Funny, uh-huh. And it taught the kids never to forget about their old friends and their family, didn't it? Mm -hmm. And never forget their address, their home and their dress. I saw her six months later in a cat magazine. She was a number one TV cat food queen with a fat contract with a cat food firm and her hair was done up in a perm. Well, the moral of the story is, uh, is uh, you're a top cat now and you're riding high, but they'll dump you in the river when the well runs dry. And that's the truth. A person's time in the sun is brief and then it's suddenly over. This is true for cats as well as for people. Mm -hmm.